<laughs> All right, man, whatever. <laughs> I'm already left. Friendly Lounge Sandwich. Take these Mexicans. They live ten to a house. Some of them only have one bathroom to share. So what do they do? They must piss in the sink or outside. And there's only so much hot water, you know, in the morning. Or someone must take a cold shower. Fuck, no shower before going to work. They do work hard. Check this out. Yesterday I was stopped at the corner of 4th and Arch. And there was this Chinese girl, maybe 14. It's hard to tell with them, you know. No offense. <laughs> She was crossing the street while talking on the phone. She had a set of keys and some money in her hand like this. And this black chick just knocked it out of her hand. And as the Chinese girl bent down to pick it up, the black chick just stepped on her hand, took the money, and ran. There were all these people there, and I was in my van, so I leaned out and shouted, Yo, 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 what the fuck are you doing? And you know what that black chick said? Shut up, white boy, finders keepers. Chinese girl looked like she was about to cry, but now she knows. Never show your money. Not in this city. Finders keepers. I drank all night, took some Xanax this morning, and I'm drinking again. Fuck, I must be nervous. I've got a date tomorrow, and I'm already fucked. Yeah, man, I'm beat. Nervous and fucking stressed. I met with my new landlord this morning. I just hope he won't look at my credit too closely. I hope he won't call my last fucking landlord. I hope we can move into this house. I've got two kids, you know. And this is a safe neighborhood. Did you know coal came from outer space? I heard it in the news, APR. But everything is already carbon anyway. That's all we are. We came from coal, that's right. And we'll become coal again after we're dead. It's like recycling. Alright, next, next, next one. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, cut the, cut the recording. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. Next one, next one. <laughs> This one you read earlier, so... Poking around South Philly? No, 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 no. Maria's Cures? Ed's Sex Life? Same old news. <clears throat> I didn't read this one. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Same old news. After decades of good, bad, or middling, probably mostly bad, yet touching heterosexual sex... Middle-aged farts can let their inner homo flare up, as in this from the Lounge Exchange. You fucked me good there, buddy. You shouldn't have done that. Hey, take it easy, man. I did use Vaseline. No, you didn't. Not this time, you didn't. More often, the Bon Homie is straightforward piggish as when the Lebanese weathercaster appears. I bet her poop smells just like curry. Oh, that's nasty. I'm into lots of weird shit, but I'm not into poop. I'm sorry, I'm just not. Hey, I'll give her a good smell test. Hmm. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Smells just like curry. <laughs> then take local, national, and international murders and rapes targeted at random. Nearly all done by tailed humans, of course. Then Oscar Pistorius, that double amputee Olympic runner who just shot his girlfriend four times to a bathroom door. What a good waste of pussy. How can you get mad at something like that? She's too good looking. Scanning this dim dive, you'll see a sad sack bunch of well-pickled pre corpses not yet interred. With pricks, they've erected sky ticklers, defended motherlands against their kind, and bored their way across the globe. I think I'm about done. I'm fucked up. That's what you said yesterday. Hey, I'm sorry to be a drunk. Hey! I'm also a stinking lush, but I'm no alcoholic. Suddenly, a live female walks in, changing the room, static and even brightening each poor boy's outlook. Each cadaver's tongue felt fresher. Behave, children, for your teacher, whatever her name is, is here. <laughs> All right, All right. Well, All right. Well, read, 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 read excess, read excess, sex life. Sex. Let's, let's do the, the friendly lounge that. set. Johnny the Hat and Irish Joe. That's all three of us talking to each other. I, I know who the voice is and who we are. <clears throat> Ed's sex life. Shellacked. Edward fell asleep waiting for a hypothetical bus. As he dreamt, someone played with his foot. But it was no giggling lover as he thought. She or he nudged harder, so Ed smiled. 
Wake up! What are you doing here? Opening his eyes, Ed saw a cop. Took a moment to figure out where he was, and then he got up to trudge home in the snow. His feet were cold and wet. Someone had stolen his $80 pair of sneakers. Ah, but how can a man go through a day without 10,000 mishaps at least? And we're not counting the insults, even. Each tick above ground is mushroom gravy. You've crossed the line, though, if you ask Ed about his missing arm out of the blue. There's no graceful preface or segue. When people say something stupid about my missing arm, I tell them I got an infection at their fist fucking your mom. You got that? Ed smiles. People would extend their left hand or wave at me with their left hand. Once, Ed had so many limbs, he ignored most of them. So a bunch felt sad, atrophied, and then fell off. But Ed didn't care. He had so many arms and legs left to toy with. Didn't we all? <laughs> all right. Uh, that's Thanks. Cool. Maria's Cures. Maria believes in invasive solutions. If you have hemorrhoids, for example, you can shove an aloe vera leaf up your ass. But you must make sure you peel the spikes off. If something's wrong with your vagina, an aloe vera leaf can also be shoved into your vagina. As for penal punishment, Maria believes yeah, that yeah. Christina Ragusters, a woman who raped a five-year-old girl, should be impaled by a red-hot poker. I'll shove it into her myself, and I'll make sure it's flaming hot. I believe in law and order. You ever heard of Rafael Trujillo? He was a dictator. He'd chop your fingers off, pull your fingernails out. I like that. I hate criminals. I like law and order. Maria also told me to abstain from eggs, cantaloupe, and papaya after sundown. She brightened when I said I liked mango. Though Dominican, she wore a jade bracelet and had a reddish Buddha on her keychain. I fucked up that last one, didn't I?